Is there really such a thing as introvert or an extrovert? Or are those just labels that society has created so that we can feel like we're in control or so that we feel like we understand things, understand the human mind, understand sociology or how, how, so, how people function in social situations? Is it a way that we can feel like we're in control and we know what to expect? I guess you could apply that question to many labels, not just introvert, extrovert, but like any time we try and define something or define it, what, uh, define or describe something and we label it. You could apply that to Democrats and Republicans, liberals and conservatives. You could apply it to a lot of different things. Anytime someone labels themselves one way or another. One of the problems with labeling is that when we label something, we limit it. If I, let's say I, I, I call myself an extrovert or an introvert, whichever, you know, whichever it is. Is it that simple? Seems like as soon as we label something, we, like I said, we limit it to that specific definition of that word. What if I enjoy being around people and I'm energized by that, but I also equally enjoy, say, alone time? Am I an introvert or an extrovert? Am I both? Why do I have to choose introvert or extrovert? That actually happens to be true about me. I consider myself equally introvert and extrovert. I enjoy being around people. I'm not always the most talkative person, but I enjoy being around people. I enjoy socializing with people. I also enjoy being alone sometimes. Being in silence, maybe. I enjoy both of those equally in their own way. It's not like I enjoy one more than the other. I like them both for different reasons. Same way that I like Italian and Mexican and uh, whatever. Whatever country. Take your pick. I like them all equally. For their own reasons. I like winter time and I like summer, both for its own reasons. And yeah, it seems like you could apply that to anything. Any, any, any time it comes down to preference. Like, why do we have to label things and identify them? Do you consider yourself a conservative or a liberal? Maybe both. I consider myself one of those, but I also don't entirely consider myself one of those. Like, let's, let's pretend, this may or may not be correct, but let's pretend that I identify myself as a liberal. But what if I'm not entirely a liberal? What if I have some conservative values as well? Well, then am I a liberal or a, or a conservative? Am I a Democrat or a Republican? Which one is it? Do I have to choose? As soon as I choose one, I've basically subscribed myself to that ideology. But what if only half of it is accurate? What if I, what if my values are based on maybe, maybe not one or the other, but some of each? Or maybe it's circumstantial. Maybe in some circumstances I'm, I have more liberal perspectives and in other circumstances I have more uh, conservative perspectives. It's almost like we want to size a one, uh, we want to figure out the one size fits all. Again, so that we can label it, so that we can maybe control it. What if life is bigger than that? What if the brain and human behavior are bigger than that? I've had people call me, again, I, I won't say if I'm liberal or conservative, because that's not the point of this video, but I've had people call me one, one of those before. I used to consider myself one of those. And then I would interact with people who think, who, who maybe uh, subscribe or label themselves the same way. And it turned out that we had nothing in common, which was great, actually, because it opened up our minds and exposed ourselves to other perspectives. So I started to realize, oh, maybe I'm not one or the other. 
Maybe, I mean, what, maybe I'm not any of the above. Maybe I'm not a liberal, maybe I'm not a conservative, maybe I'm not an um, libertarian, any of those. And that's actually these days, that's what I consider myself. Again, I'm discussing it politically right now, but this applies to anything. Politically, uh, like, like I said, um, introverts and extroverts, etc. Those are the two that are coming to mind. I think this seems to apply to many different things. But it occurred to me recently that, like I said, the moment we define something one way or the other, we've limited it. And therefore, we've limited our minds, ourselves, our behavior. What if life is bigger than that? Why do we want to limit ourselves? Or other people? I've had people call me one or the other. Or imply that I'm one or the other. And then it occurs to me... Well, there's some truth to that, but there's also a, a lot of non-truth to that. Again, depending on many things. could depend on the circumstances. It could depend on the season or whatever. It could depend on a lot of things. Just like with the, the social aspect of it, introvert, extrovert, etc., So the purpose of this video is to challenge people to think outside of those boxes, to think outside of those labels. If nothing else, to th maybe reconsider how we perceive uh, and think of other people and how we divide ourselves and label ourselves. Seems like labeling creates division. Or at least it can easily do so. I was in an online forum recently, and it was a, it was a political forum, which I, I in general I don't follow politics very much, but I wanted to maintain an open mind, so I joined a group that that labeled themselves the opposite of how I used to label myself. I hope that makes sense. It was a group that generally subscribes to thoughts and ideologies that are different from how I sometimes still but used to think. Just to keep an open mind and to be challenged and whatnot. And I witnessed some things that were disturbing. A lot of labeling, a lot of yelling at and insulting the other side behind their back. Insulting people, disrespecting not just people but uh, groups. One, one disrespecting and insulting the other behind the other's back. AKA cowardice. I also witness a lot of narrow mindedness. I think that's part of the problem with this is that it's an indication of narrow mindedness. What if we got rid of labels? And I know that that's probably not going to happen because society likes to label things. But what if we got rid of labels, or at least tried to start to start thinking that way? Getting rid of labels, realizing that each person is a unique and complex individual with their own, how they were raised, their own thoughts, their own perspectives, their own experiences. Why label an entire life or an entire brain wiring to one or the other? That seems very limiting and narrow-minded. And it seems like it limits what we're capable of. It limits the possibilities. So this is just something to consider. I wanted to share this because it's been on my mind lately. And I think especially like during the COVID season, political season, there's been a lot of labeling when it comes to, uh, it seems like especially the political season, liberal, uh, conservative, and... Then in that, I guess that's the, the that's the most common one in the political arena, or those are the most common labels in the political arena: liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, etc., Green Party, maybe, etc. But those are all labels, and those all limit. 
those ideologies and limit maybe even the possibilities. And like I said, it occurred to me also equally with uh, um, introvert and extrovert. Why limit ourselves to those? I myself happen to be a follower of Jesus. What does that make me? A liberal or conservative? An introvert or an extrovert? What was Jesus? Jesus was both. He was all about people. He came for people. He came to earth to save people and to be our savior. Was he an introvert or an extrovert? Well, he was Jesus. He was himself. He was his own ideology. He didn't, fill it. He didn't fit into any of our ideologies. He's too big for any of that. He had his moments of introvertedness and extrovertedness. And when I say that, I don't mean that in like our sense of those words, but he, he was a people person. He came for people. He enjoyed people. He also had his moments of solitude as needed. Both are necessary. So to lay, to, for example, and I use Jesus as an example because to label, even to label Jesus as one or the other is very limiting. And he was, he's, he, Jesus is God. So he was bigger than any of those things. So when I say that I'm a follower of Jesus and that I strive to with God's help, live my life the way he wants me to live it with his help because I can't do it on my own. I can't label myself. If I do label myself, I label myself as a mini Jesus or a Christian. And even that label, even the label Christian has its own connotations. So what do I call myself? I don't consider myself a liberal conservative, introvert, extrovert. I consider myself someone who knows Jesus and tries to know him better every day because it's free. He is freeing and the truth sets us free and he is the truth. It's from the book of John verse eight, uh, chapter eight, verse 32. Then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus is the truth, he's the only truth. And if I'm offending people right now, that's fine. I'm not afraid to offend people. What if we stop limiting ourselves? And what if we stop labeling ourselves? Take care.